Hello and welcome to stage three of the Club Day Devo event. Here we are at Nürburgring and that can get interesting. This is a longer track, so more enjoyable than Laguna Seca, I think, but actually I like Laguna Seca. I like the flow of the track. Now this first race, I'm sorry guys, it is absolutely stupid. There's three cars and I have to finish in third place and I can't pass and blah, blah, blah. I just find that completely stupid but anyway i understand it's part of the storyline we're gonna warp at four times regular speed i drove backwards for a little bit that is it's really slow in reverse and so i'm not dissing the uh the creators i understand they're like two three million dollar cars and so they're setting up a storyline i just don't like it for a racing game and you can see i still caught up again so there we go zipped through that race pretty quickly because, well, it wasn't really a race, it was just a Sunday drive at high speeds. Now, here's where we get to do a little bit more, and oh yes, this is hilarious, this is where you get to your Roman cubit measurement for the racetrack. Not meters, not feet, not yards, Roman cubits. You can tell, because if you know how long Nürburgring is, you know that there's no way I can get this much drafting in one lap like I'm about to do. So why do I say Roman cubits? Because when I did the math, that's the unit of measurement that matched. It was not done on purpose. They don't actually know why it is this way, but a Roman cubit is 17.48 inches or 44.444 centimeters. And basically what happens is every meter you travel, they give you two and a half meters of drafting. So just some weird glitch that they can't ever fix because it would wreck past events. So currently we have the archives. Those are going away at the end of the July. Um, don't really know what is going to take its place. Before archives, we had flashback events. So that could come back. Anyways, I'm not trying to get into all that. That's kind of a heated thing. Um, not much reason as to why it's being taken away now. All I can say is hopefully there's something good coming in its place. Anyhow, so we used to have flashback events. Maybe we'll see that again. The whole point is they can't fix the drafting counter because it would ruin every single prior event. Uh, especially, um, so let's see here. We had a NASCAR event we, where we had to get in 20,000 meters of drafting and there wasn't even enough laps to do it except for the Roman cubit measurement because it didn't work. So here you can see, like, I didn't even draft for a full lap, but I got all my drafting in, and Nürburgring is definitely not that long, at least not the Grand Prix circuit. So, kind of hilarious. Why am I still hanging out with this guy? Yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. Okay, so let's just, uh, I'd like to win the race. So I always, oh look, there he is. I always want to win every race. In fact, what I'd love to do, I'm sorry guys, it sounds horrible, but I'd love to totally shove this car into a wall because I wasn't allowed to touch anybody or pass anybody in the first race. And I guess I want some payback. So I'm going to set that up. Um, if sometimes you can get bots, if you get a bot stuck behind a wall, He'll stay there sometimes. Like, they'll try to work their way out, they'll go back, but I've sometimes seen bots horribly stuck in walls, and they never get out. Ah, here we go. This will be great. I'll be able to set this up down the last straight section here. Well, I've, I shouldn't say that's the last, but this is a nice, big, long speed run. He'll get on the brakes really early, and I'll try to set this up to plow him into the wall. Might end up being a pit maneuver. Depends how I hit him here. Okay, oop, oh, didn't want to turn him. Nuts. Oh, I didn't go the way I wanted to. Oh, well. Still did probably a quarter million dollars damage to that car, which is completely unnecessary, but oh, so much fun. Especially when everything goes bye-bye at the end of the race. It just doesn't matter. It's just all better. Okay, let's get on to something better. More better. More betterer. Oh boy, guys, I apologize. That's horrible English. I shouldn't be saying it, but I just did. Okay, well, this is going to be a longer one, a three lap race. We might do some warping ahead because this is just set the fastest lap, and there's three laps. And most likely, my very first lap is going to be the fastest lap because of how slow the bots are. Bots are terribly slow. 
if you're having trouble, you could just really slow them down after you set a fast lap. Whoopsie! You got really close to hitting the wall. Obviously, I haven't quite dialed in my braking point yet for this track. I'm adjusting to what I've learned on other tracks, which is get on those brakes real early. And I'll just take him out. Goodbye. That most likely cracked my windshield because I really wasn't all that careful. I really like the back wing on this car. I like how it's uh, flared out on the sides. That's different than what we normally see. Looks pretty cool. All in all, it's a pretty cool looking car and it handles decently. Like the grip's okay. It's not amazing, but this isn't like, um, let's see, the Hennessy Venom, not the F5, just the regular Venom. I was driving that a bit the other day and I forgot how horrible that car is once you lose traction in corners. You just slide forever in that thing. It's just, oh my gosh, nasty. Now, once I finish this lap, we're gonna do some warping ahead. I'm not going to play this video regular speed for a full three laps at Nürburgring with nothing to see. I'm in first place. All you can see is my fastest lap. So we're gonna to totally skip. Ooh, look at that. So you'll see how much I do this lap. Then I'm gonna hit warp speed. Four times regular speed, which is just kind of fun, actually. I wonder how much grip you would need to take the corners this fast. Like, five? I don't know, it'd be pretty crazy. Looks pretty crazy. I know I'll, there we go. So here we'll see how much faster I was this lap, which is a lot faster. 124, and let's hit warp speed again. Four times regular speed. Shouldn't be catching more lap traffic, you'd think. Oops. And they're horribly slow cars. That's kind of funny. Really don't want to clip them. That would be a complete disaster. So odds are my lap will be slower because I had to contend with some nasties. Oh, I was actually, eh, same thing. Well, there you go. Not anything difficult about that, I didn't find. Okay, well, let's get on and see what else we've got to face here. And good, we got a better field of cars, but two of them right in front of me again. Oh well, give these guys a push to get them down this track. I'm not allowed to pass until after the first corner trying to stack them up a little bit but again I'll be in the lead in no time and then we've got another basically a three full laps to go that's kind of weird oh I did not expect him to be driving there well I'll be nice Mr. Sharon don't want to get too nasty with you power through this whoopsie be careful and I should be able to overtake him on this corner, I imagine, because he's going to late break and I'm going to, well, I'm going to super late break. He's going to early break is what I meant to say. And, well, there you go. I'm already in the lead. So, not much to see. Still trying to learn these corners. There we go. That's a little bit better. Not a little bit better. Interesting car. There we go. You definitely can shoot that full throttle, which the bots, whoa, the bots will not do. I was not expecting Mr. Yellow Jello there. Okay, drifty rifty. And yeah, let's do some, let's do some skipping ahead here too, because by the way, if you didn't know, this last chicane here where I'm driving it, that's allowed. That's not off track. So you're allowed to do that. So definitely pay attention to that. And you know what? We're going to skip the whole rest of this race. There's nothing to see. So I don't want to just bore you guys. So thank you for watching the video, but I think you know that I'm not just going to bore you. So there you go. Please like, please subscribe. Check out the other videos. I'll get it all up as soon as I can.